auntie, uh, this is the first time that I heard that uh, uh, it's easier to be a sutapana than to get a jhana. Okay? Mm. So, as a lay person, assuming uh, if the correct characters and everything, we, we, we become a sutapana, does it mean that once you are in the stream entry, automatically for seven life, you would move upwards. Does that mean that you no need jhana or is it after you have gone into Sotapana that then the jhana will come? Because, no, no. because we have always been taught that we have to go to into the jhana first before you become a Sotapana. But this is the first time that I heard that as lay people we can actually become the I mean the the lower class Sotapana. But then uh, then <laughs> does it automatically does it automatically that we start moving forward? I mean, we get all the criteria that we have learned, uh, the jhana, and, uh, or is it that if you don't follow, then you will drop out? Because uh, this is the first step. Is it automatic? How to become automatic? Is it then uh, once you are in the sotapanna, does it mean that if you have the right condition, then you will have the right condition to learn, you got the teacher to come and everything, and then you will have a very smooth journey up with it. Firstly, uh, attaining stream entry uh, or becoming a sutapanna is not the lower class. <laughs> no, because we, we always give the impression uh, that you have to be the jhana before you go in. So, of course, I put it in a very... A very uh, but because you gave us a better hope, you know, in the sense that, you know, uh, as a lay people with good character, with the right sila, with the right condition, we, we still got the hope to go in, you know. Although you, you are not a good meditator or you, are, you, you haven't experienced jhana. So Stream entry yeah, is higher class than jhana. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Because uh, jhana, uh, even external sex ascetic can attain. Mm. But because they have not attained stream entry, yeah. After they pass away, they might go to heaven and all that. La. One day, eh, they will go to hell. But once you become a stream enterer, you'll never be reborn in hell or the animal realm or the ghost realm. Mm. And your blessings is immense eh, compared to the jhana attainer. So, Secondly, eh, the sotapanna, after he has passed away, eh, how... He eventually attains Nibbana, depends on him. The Buddha said, uh, there is a type uh, that is a one-seeder. He only takes rebirth once, and he strives very hard, and then he will enter Nibbana. That means probably be attain Arahanhood. Uh. Then there's another type that will take two or three lives, and then enter Nibbana. Then there's another type that will take more, uh, up to seven lives. Uh. Now, if he attains uh, arahanhood, na, he will enter nibbana after he passes away as an arahan. If he attains anagamin, third fruit, na, he will rebo be reborn in the Sudavasa heavens, uh, uh, the fourth jhana plane. Na. Or some of them, if they constantly abide in arupa jhana, then they, they take rebirth in the arupa realm. Na. And from, from there, uh, they enter Nibbana when they pass away. They don't attain Arahanhood, you know. They don't have to attain Arahanhood. From there, they just die and pass away into Nibbana. Same with the Sudhavasa heavens. Lah. That's for an Anagamin. So if he's a, if he's a Sakadagamin, lah, then he's reborn in heaven. Then he comes back, lah, the last life. The last life. That means either he strives like our Buddha, becomes an Arahan and enters Nibbana, or even if he does not strive, for example, the person who has finished seven lifetimes, the moment he dies, he will enter Nibbana. You know, when we are dying, our body becomes weaker and weaker and weaker, and the mind becomes stronger and stronger. Recently, just about a week ago, I met one of our devotees uh, who had been missing for about three months. Uh. So I asked him what happened to you. He said he had a virus infection 
Then uh, he went to Ipo Hospital. The, the doctors gave him antibiotics. And then he didn't improve, went to see some uh, specialist center, some private hospital. They gave him some more antibiotic. <laughs> became so weak, nah, they told him must be admitted to the hospital. Then he decided to go to where his son was in Johor Bahru. And there the son sent him to some uh, private hospitals. Lah. And then he got antibiotic after antibiotic until he became so weak nah, that he said he went to the toilet. He could not get up from the toilet seat. Then after that, he became so weak nah, that he thought he was going to pass away. Lah. Totally given up already. He's going to pass away. And then at that stage, yeah, he thought of giving up the struggle. So he let go. Let go. And then he said, yeah, as he was about to die, yeah, suddenly, yeah, because he had been listening to the Dhamma talks, yeah, and his favorite was Paticca Samupada, dependent origination. Yeah, uh, this talk came up in his mind. That everything uh, is only conditions only. And perhaps he saw uh, more clearly, uh, no self. Uh. And suddenly, uh, he like, uh, maybe he got a, a, a little enlightenment. Uh, <laughs> and he recovered. Uh. He didn't die. <laughs> so after that, uh, he told me, uh, near death only, uh, he realized uh, the value of the Dhamma. So that's why, you see, when uh, Sotapanna probably, uh, even he has not attained jhana, when he's dying, uh, when he's dying, the, the body becomes weaker and weaker, and the mind becomes clearer and clearer, uh, and everything becomes, all the Dhamma that you have learned, uh, becomes so clear, you know. Uh, then that person thinks Nibbana. No? Mm -hmm. So Bhante, uh, in conclusion, mean we first thing get into Sotapanna, then we are on the right way. Yes. So it's good to hear that uh, no, you no need to. Of course, meditation, everything will, will put you in a better and stronger position. Yeah. yeah. But it's not mandatory, la, in the sense that. So it gives a lot of people many, a lot of hope. Thank you, Kante. Yeah. You see, just, just now I mentioned the Buddha called his disciples savakas, listeners or hearers. Secondly, in one sutta, the Buddha said, if you don't listen to his words and attain stream entry, eh, you are not a follower of the Buddha. You are an external sect follower. Mm -hmm. We brought some uh, SD cards eh, on sale there. Uh, one set is only 30 ringgit, the SD card plus the player. But our cost price is 45. Because we want you to be a stream enterer. That's <laughs> Special offer. Thank you, Bhante. Bhante, uh, the Sotapanna, right, who pass away, in the next life, will they remember their Sotapanna? Ah, they... yes. Um, they may not remember, but uh, once you have become an Arya, you are on autopilot. Uh, inside. In Hinduism, they call it what the, the Adi Guru, your primary teacher. Inside, it's in your memory. So, like for example, the Buddha, he met, when he met the Buddha Kasapa, our Buddha was a Brahmin. He had no faith in the Buddha. His friend, uh, Jyotipala, uh, Gatikara, asked him to see the Buddha so many times he refused. He said, What's the use of seeing your shaveling monk, your botak, botak monk? He, said, he refused to go. And then his friend dragged him by the hair, you know. And his friend is a low caste man. Drag him by the hair uh, is a, is a very big offense, you know. If he reported reported it to the other Brahmins, the Brahmins might kill him. Eh? So he got, got shocked. Uh, he asked his friend, "Is it so important uh, that you dare to do this?" His friend said, "Yes, it's so important." Then he thought, "No, nah, nah, something special about his teacher." So he went to see the Buddha. Then the, his friend Gatikara, the pot maker, uh, bowed to the Buddha and sat down. He uh, refused to bow, la, say, hello, hello. Uh, <laughs> uh, then he sat down. Then the, the friend uh, explained to the Buddha, he said, uh, Bhagawa, this is my good friend, Jyotipala. He's a Brahmin. Please teach him some Dhamma or compassion. The Buddha taught him some Dhamma. After that, uh, he became a monk. That shows uh, he had attained stream entry. Mm. 
So after that, he must have attained the first jhana because after he passed away, the Buddha said he went to Tusita heaven, came down as Siddhartha Gautama, as a small boy, yeah, 10 years old, he could enter the first jhana under the jambu tree. Where did he learn that? Must be from Buddha Kasapa. That shows uh, he having attained the first jhana, he must have been a Sakadagamin, second fruit. Second fruit person uh, goes to heaven, comes back as a human being, uh, will enter Nibbana, will strive to enter Nibbana. That's why the Buddha was in a rich family. The, the wife just gave birth, beautiful young wife. For no good reason, uh, he left the parents, left the wife and the son uh, to become a monk. Nowadays, uh, somebody do that, we say, cheese in your. <laughs> yeah. Mm. So you see, there's something inside him uh, that drives him to become a monk. He can't, even at that time, he, I don't think he understood why. Why he had to do it, but he knew he had to do it. And imagine, uh, after he became a monk, uh, he went to the forest, stayed under the, the, the open air. During the winter, the Buddha said, uh, he's so cold uh, and the teeth will chatter. Uh, and uh, have to beg for his food. Parents are rich, why does he have to beg for his food? Mm -hmm. And probably uh, sitting under the tree uh, and thinking of his wife and his parents, uh, probably the tears came down. But he doesn't know why he has to do it, but he has to do it. So we have, uh, once you have become an Arya, uh, yeah, on autopilot, even though he has forgotten, uh, but he has to go that way. Mm. Bhante is, um, some of us may be moving between uh, Mahayana and Theravada, but uh, we cannot let go of not chanting Sin Jin or Tape Zhou. I also was like you, ma. <laughs> <laughs> After I switched to Theravada, huh, I still chant the Tape Zhou. Then I, as I learn more and more Dhamma, slowly, slowly let go. No? Mm. Takes time, huh? takes time. You have to listen more to the suttas. Xinjing can, Xinjing can lead you to have a better understanding of oneself. Xinjing, uh, just like this, Jin uh, Kang Jing, uh, is close to Theravada Dhamma, but it does not explain. Uh, yeah, this is uh, Kong, uh, this Kong, uh, but it cannot explain. Uh, if you listen to the many suttas in the Sangyutta Nikaya, it explains very clearly. Mm. Bhante, I'd like to ask a question concerning seeing things as they are. Um, just now Bhante mentioned that delusion is the inability to see things as they are. But I, I seem to have this sort of understanding that um, seeing things as they are means seeing things in accordance to the Four Noble Truths. Then um, ignorance is not knowing the Four Noble Truths. So there doesn't seem to be much difference there. Yes, but if you have delusion, uh, even though you hear the Four Noble Truths, uh, you think you know, uh, but you don't understand. Because your mind is not focused. You can keep keep listening to it many times, but you, you don't understand, don't really understand. And ignorance is um, not knowing about the Four Noble Truths at all. Not understanding. Not understanding. Mm. Delusion means you don't see things clearly, not only about the phone, our intrudes, anything else. Bhante, when a person dead, the soul came out from which part? Head, eyes, nose, <laughs> ears, mouth, heart, or the body? It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> but there are some people who have experienced it. They seem to go through a tunnel, go through a tunnel, they hear ringing, ringing and all that. They see light at the end of the tunnel. Is it the same? Don't worry, in, like a, in a few years' time you will know very clearly. <laughs> <laughs> Is it the same sight like human being or 50 cent coin? Huh? What is that? Soul. The Is soul. The, the size. Hmm. No, no, it depends on what, what you have developed into. You become a deva, you suddenly come out of your body, huge deva. <laughs> I 
But I believe uh, if you are, we are already evolved to be a human being, you cannot take rebirth as a flea or a mosquito, something that is so undeveloped. We have already spiritually evolved. You know? But you might be able to take rebirth as a cow. <laughs> you see, cows, uh, when they drag them to slaughter, uh, the tears come down, you know. Tears come down. That means uh, they have emotions, like human beings, dogs or so. Mm-hmm. But not lower animals. Like lower animals, they don't have emotions like us. If you kill a mosquito, although it's afraid, la, but it doesn't suffer like, like beings with emotion. La. The Buddha said, na, once na, he was with his disciples in the forest, so he took up some leaves in his hand. So the Buddha said, he asked his disciples, he said, you see the leaves in my hand, is it much compared to the leaves in the forest? They said, nah, the leaves in your hand are so little, Bhagawa, the leaves in the forest are so much. Buddha said, nah, what I know uh, is like the leaves in the forest so much. What I teach uh, is so little, like in my hand. I only teach suffering, the cause of suffering, the ending of suffering, and the path leading to the ending of suffering. So where you come up from the body is not important. <laughs> Understanding the suttas is important, yeah. Um, Ante, you always stress on the sutta. So is it okay if we bypass the abhidhammas? Yes. The abhidhammas? Yes. Abhidhamma is not really practical. Huh? You find a lot of things in the suttas huh? tells you how to practice. Abhidhamma is just like book knowledge. You read it and then you think you understand. You don't really understand. You cannot let go. You can you can let go by practicing. What I remember about that story is uh, um, the the disciple asked many 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 questions and then uh, Buddha know the people there has different different level of understanding so he said which is more the leaves in my hand or the leaves in the forest then the then the disciple said uh, the leaves in the forest then he said um, what I have taught you is like that but if you practice well what I have taught you it is, is enough for your liberation the amount I taught you the, the noble truth if will part that is the leaves in this hand but if you practice this well, what this one you understand well, you practice well, this is enough for your liberation without having to understand world system or rebirth and whatnot. That's what I understand from that story. So I think that part is important. What you know here, practice it well, then that is enough for your liberation. The other thing. All understood, huh? <laughs> okay, come. Can end here, huh?